Today is the day to talk about the new Aurora Serverless V2. And this is one of the most amazing upgrades the AWS did in the last uh, 12 years since I started working with AWS. So this is an amazing new version of a classic service from AWS. And you must be aware about how this works and what kind of advantage this service can bring to your business or to your project. So let's talk about this. Welcome to my channel. I'm Wesley Millen. I have two other channels here on YouTube where I talk about technology in Portuguese. So forgive my accent and my bad English and let's start talking about new Aurora Serverless V2. Back on April 21st of 2022 this year, AWS releases the new version of Aurora Serverless what is an amazing service to host your relational databases. So on version V1 that exists for a while, AWS made a revolutionary service where you could scale up and down vertically your database. What is amazing feature considering the complexity of our relational database systems and how hard it is to maintain a simple cluster. Did you already try to build your own cluster of MySQL or Postgres? Oh, this is not easy. Even not considering the scalability because you don't have that on a static infrastructure, but just think about how complex it is behind the scenes to maintain your data synchronized between a lot of different nodes inside the same cluster and keep the consistency of register and the relational integrity between tables. So this is not simple and AWS rises to another level and they made possible to scale up and down vertically your database. So in version one, you were limited to MySQL version 5.7 and Postgres version 11. So this is a kind of a problematic limitation because in some cases you need some features that the newer version of those drivers has. So now you can upgrade your database and enjoy the advantage of Aurora Serverless V2. So on V2, you can use MySQL version 8 and Postgres version 13 and 14 and enjoy a lot of new features on this service. Let's talk about some of these new features. First of all, you can't forget that on RDS, your backups and the maintenance of your instances, it's automatic. AWS take care of all this annoying and repetitive tasks that your team can have if you have a static server or an on-premises server running your application. So you can forget that. And the data you put inside your database on RDS Aurora is replicated to six different places on three different available zones. So if any of those zones get down, you have a backup and the time to recover and to point to a new zone and keep your application running, it's below a second. So milliseconds to fail over and then keep your application alive and running and answering your user's requests. Back on V1, one of the most annoying problems you have to try to use a serverless solution for relational databases was the fact that to use the serverless cluster, you had to dump your database and then import into your serverless instance because you didn't have any kind of integration between your cluster version and your serverless version. So now on version V2, you have this problem solved because your serverless instance will run inside your cluster. Yeah, and since you have the same version of your MySQL or Postgres, running inside this cluster and this version is compatible with the serverless v2 you can just add a new serverless instance inside the same cluster you already have your provisioned instances and then you can work with your provisioned and serverless instance inside your same cluster as the same solution it's amazing so you can migrate without having to migrate your database into the serverless just create a new instance and voila, you are running on a serverless instance. So crazy if you think how this thing worked behind the scenes. So it is an amazing solution for your application scalability. And talk about scalability. Now your serverless instance can scale horizontally or vertically. So let's talk about this. 
So scaling vertically, it's basically adding or removing compute resources like CPU and memory. And then you can scale vertically on Aurora Serverless V2 almost instantly. In a matter of milliseconds, AWS can detect the increase of requests or the CPU use or the increase of memory needs of your application and then they add resources to your instance, making your instance able to answer those requests without having to add a new instance. But wait, even having the vertical scalability and making this so easy to do, you still have the horizontal scalability because you are inside a cluster. So you can add read replicas into your cluster and then make your cluster even more capable of answering a big amount of requests or a big amount of processment inside your database. And to do that, AWS uses a unit called ACU or Aurora Capacity Unit that it's a kind of unit to specify the amount of CPU and memory you have in your instance. So basically for each 0.5 ACUs, you have one gigabyte of run available for your instance. So think about that, scaling every 0.5 ACUs when you need resources and scale down when you don't need that can make you save a lot of money using the RDS new Aurora Serverless V2. And if this is not enough for you to make the decision to, to migrate your instances to the Serverless V2, think about this. In a serverless instance, you can scale from 0.5 ACUs up to 128 ACUs and 256 gigabytes of memory. And this is per instance, and you can add up to 15 read replicas to your cluster. That can provide an amazing power cluster for your database. Think about having 16, because you have the master instance and then more 15 read replicas, and then you can go up to 1920 ACUs with almost four terabytes of memory, but just if you need that, okay? So in this channel, I will make a reveal, putting my hands on this service and trying to stress it and see how it behaves under stress and see how it scale up and down and then prove if AWS is really delivering what they promise on the service. But I can give you a spoiler here. Yes, they do, because I have been testing this new service from AWS in the last three months, and it is amazing. It's really amazing, trust me. But keep your eyes on this channel, and then you will see this running for real. Beyond all of that, you still can scale up and down your instances independently inside the same cluster, having the master and some read replicas with specific tasks to do or specific functionalities answering part of your system like reports or machine learning or any other kind of task you have without affecting the performance of the database or the instances that answer your end users. And you can do that using the custom endpoints to load balancing your traffic to the right instances or the right group of instances to answer each one of the tasks you have to run on your database. And now on Aurora Serverless V2, AWS finally allows you to have a multi-region cluster. So you can have your cluster distributed for more than one region, and if one entire region get down, you can have your application running on another region with basically no downtime. It's just a matter of a couple seconds to have your database redirected to another region and then your application making requests to that region. So now you should be asking yourself, what about the price to have all these amazing features? So don't worry about that because the next video on this channel, I will make a simulation and then I will show you how the new Aurora Serverless V2 works considering the price and the costs and how you can make a good plan to estimate your expenses using the new Aurora Serverless V2, especially considering the size of instances and the provisional options you have 
inside the RDS Aurora. And then I will tell you when worth or not to use the new Aurora Serverless V2 or other AWS solutions. So don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up to help this content to reach more people. And if you really like this content, don't forget to share this on your LinkedIn, Facebook, or any other platform to help people to find my content and to help my channel to grow up. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.